Complete my review. The skull is a fake. Wow. Wow. That's what must have made him just drop dead because he's like, oh, it's a fake. I can't live forever now. Dang. Nab it, and now I'm gonna die. That must suck. Oh shoot, man, they're coming back alive. Oh wow, that was way, way harder than it should have been. Right, this should be the last loquat needed. pirate costume and then we are done with Iggy the Iguana so we need pirate hat the pirate sword and the parrot oh now bring us our prize good sir and what did we get a treasure chest what's up dude the name that opens every Jolly Roger meeting opens me Time for some phone calls. It's phone uh, authenticator first, actually. And then we must phone Miss Bess Martin. Yeah? Is this Milo Research and Technology? This is Chaz, Milo. Service forwarded your call to myself. What do you want? Are you all right? I'm at the gym. On the treadmill. It's called multitasking. Really? Well, about the letter you sent to Dr. Belay, you know, where you told him the skull was a fake? Yeah. I was just wondering... I never told him that. What? Never told him what? I told him that skull was authentic. Really? No. Because the letter says letter different. the skull was carved using modern instruments. I said all the tests I ran proved the skull had been hand-carved and hand-polished. Probably took decades to make. Holy but cow. the letter Dr. Belay got said just the opposite. Then the letter he got must not have been the letter that I wrote. Are you saying the crystal skull is real? Hey, I'm not saying it's magic or anything. I'm just saying it wasn't made using 19th century, 20th century, or 21st century technology. Holy cow. Did you carbon date it to see how old it was? The thing was pure quartz. No carbon in quartz. Oh. No carbon, no carbon dating. Hey, look, I'm going to hang up now. If I try to talk anymore... I'm gonna pass out. Just one more question. Did you send that letter saying the skull was authentic to anyone else? No, just Dr. Bollet. I heard he died recently. Good thing I built him up front. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for your help. No problem. All right, Bess Marvin, we need you to help us out a little bit here. Just a little bit, though. Hello? Hi, Hello. Bess. Listen, you busy? Uh, why? I need you to do something for me. What? I need you to infiltrate the meeting of the Jolly Rogers crew that's about to be held at Rampart and Dumaine, which has got to be right near Zeke's. Yeah. You're going to have to look around for it. Now, to get into the meeting, you'll need to put on that skeleton man costume you saw in the back room. And once you're in the meeting, you'll need to listen for the name that opens the meeting so yeah. you can tell me what it is, okay? Mm. No. Beth, I know you don't like to do stuff like this, but this is really, really, Gumbo's really gone. important. Aww. And it'll be the last thing I ask you to do. I promise. Fine. Oh, all right. I don't suppose it would do any good to point out that the curio shop is closed. Aww. You'll find a way in. Oh, and if anyone at the meeting asks, the password is Scuttled Bones. Scuttled okay, Bones. I'll give it a shot. All right. That's the spirit. All right. So... Fortunately, Bess has a little makeup bag here, or makeup thing. So we're gonna walk along this way until we get right here. Those crickets are disgusting. And you're just gonna go and, oh, there we go. So you wanna press these 28905. What is up, dude? 
Alright, take that. And if I'm right, we should just be able to exit out this way. Yeah! That's right, dude! Let me in! It's raining out! Oh my. What's the password? Password? Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, scuttled bones. Yes! Better hurry, we're just about to start. Sweet, we got in. John Lafitte. Oh, shh. Welcome, my fellow Jolly Rogers. I know that voice. We have several pressing matters to discuss this it's evening. Dr. Buford. Let us begin. Right. As you may or may not have heard, certain city officials are attempting to deny us the right not only to gather in public places during the Mardi Gras season, but they have also seen fit to. <gasps> Shoot, I forgot to turn off my cell phone. Oh, no. Best. It seems we have an uninvited guest. Get him! <gasps> Let go! You're making a big mistake. Let go of me! Look, I'm that was scary. You're making Still a, is scary. A What's his laughing? Can we just talk about this? Where are you taking me? If you just let me explain. Why, it seems our trespasser is of the female variety. Let's have a look. Boom! That's right. You know me and I know you, Dr. Buford. And I also know that you were the one who attacked my friend over at the Bole Mansion today. Yeah. And if you don't tell me why right now, I promise you, you are going to be in one big world of hurt. Yeah. The young lady's clearly upset about something. Clarence, take over the meeting while I try to find out why she's making all these crazy accusations. They're true! They're not crazy and you know it! I will tell you everything, Miss Marvin, in private. Fine, man. And he did. He told Boom. me everything, Nancy. I bluffed him into confessing. You would have been oh, so, so good. proud of me. Oh, and before I forget... The name they chanted at the start of the meeting was Jean Lefebvre. Doesn't even tell her how to spell it, but Nancy Great. understands right well, away. What did Dr. Buford tell you? Okay. First off, he said that with his dying breath, Bruno Bollet directed him to steal the painting of Henry's parents and lock it up in Henry's parents' crypt. <gasps> oh Bruno my. seemed to think that way Henry would wind up with the crystal skull instead of somebody else. So Dr. Buford dressed up in his skeleton man costume, stole the canvas, and hid it in the crypt like Bruno asked. Mm. That must have been when Renee saw Mr. Death. But then, Dr. Buford had second thoughts and decided to heck with Henry. He wanted that crystal skull for himself. So this afternoon, he dressed up in his skeleton man costume again and snuck into Henry's house so he could get the key from that mini cemetery and retrieve the painting he'd left in that crypt. What? Knowing the painting would somehow lead him to the skull. Only I walked in on him and ruined everything. Right. And now that we're on to him, he says he no longer wants the skull. He's embarrassed that he allowed his superstitious side to get the best of him and says whoever finds the skull is welcome to that's it. Right, that's right, it's gonna be what us. Dr. Buford said. Uh oh. Uh oh what? I told him you were looking for the skull. That's alright. That's alright. Actually, I told him you were on the verge of finding it. What? Why would you tell him no. that? No! I don't know. I got carried away. So if he lied to me and he really does still want the skull, then he might come after you. <sighs> he left right after we talked, and I don't think he went back into that meeting. What if he's on his way over there? Don't worry. Oh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Why don't you just... Whoa, that bolt of lightning was huge. Anyway... Why don't you just go relax and I'll be back at the hotel before you know it, okay? Uh, yes? Uh oh. Hello? Bess, you there? Nope, she sure isn't. Oh, shivers down my spine. That is spooky. Alright. So we need to type in Jean Lafitte, which I believe is spelt E A N L A F. I T T E. Yes! 
Get an eyeball. So how many eyeballs do we have? How are we looking? Two more! Oh, guys, we're so close! Two more. Two more. Let's cross some stuff off right now, actually. Still have to do no. that. Jack. Yeah. Did that. No. I haven't done that. Oh, have I not done that yet? All done. Did that. Yes. Can't check that off yet. That's the <gasps> oh. Jack. Oh. Jack. Did that. Oh, I get it. Did that. All done. I get Jack. it. I get it. I get it. I just. I. I totally get it now. 